The original model of the F3800 had a maximum incoming solar panel voltage limit of 60 volts. That meant that if you wanted to connect your rigid anchor solar 400 watt panels together, you would have to wire them all up in parallel so the voltage wouldn't increase while the current did increase. You would take a pair of cables for each solar panel and then connect them to a branch connector like this to combine them before going into your F3800. That means that you would need one set of cables for every panel that you have, and because the voltage limit and current handling limits were low, the max panels you could use was only three, indicated by the branch connector here. The F3800 Plus can accept up to 165 volts of DC power coming in. That means that we can take up to four of the Anchor Solux rigid solar panels, wiring them in series where you connect the positive to the negative of each subsequent panel, daisy chaining them together, so you only need one set of cables for your whole array. That set of cables then plugs into our adapter, which plugs into the F3800 Plus, giving you up to 1600 watts of incoming power per port using the four Anchor Solux rigid solar panels. And because there's two ports, you can do that two times, giving you up to 3200 watts of incoming solar power. Now I'm gonna show you really quick using this temporarily set up array to show you how to wire those panels in series and connect them into your F3800 Plus. Before we get started wiring up this array, I wanna share with you a couple of pro tips to keep in mind as we go. The first one is obviously to make sure that your panels are in full sun. After that, since we're here in the Northern Hemisphere, you'll wanna make sure that your panels are facing south if you can, and the ideal angle that they will have tilted to the south will be somewhere between 30 and 45 degrees for best results. After that, you wanna make sure that the sum of the voltage incoming from all of your panels stays below the 165 volt DC limit that the F3800 Plus can receive, and we'll also wanna make sure that we're coming in below the 17 amp input threshold that the F3800 Plus on its incoming solar charge ports. When we're wiring our solar panels up in series, I like to think of it as turning this whole four panel array into one big solar panel that will just have one main positive and one negative cable coming off of it. So what we'll do is we'll start at the back of our array on the first panel on one side, like we have here. And in this case, we're starting on the positive end. We'll connect that to our MC4 connector here, just like so. And then we'll work our way down the line, connecting the negative to the positive of the adjoining panel all the way down until the end, until all these panels are hooked up. When we get to the other side, the loose end that we have over there, we'll connect to our other MC4 connector and run that to our F3800 Plus. Here we go. Now that we have all of those panels connected and daisy chained together, we'll come to the other side and connect our negative MC4 connector here. And the nice thing is, since they are male and female type connections, you really can't mess this up. So now that all these are wired together, these are our primary positive and negative wires coming off of this solar panel array. We'll connect those into our adapter like this. If you were to measure the voltage right here, we would be just below 160 volts, which is right where we wanna be. These high DC solar input voltages are made possible on the F3800 Plus by its new solar input port and Anchor's proprietary solar recharging cable. This cable features a locking mechanism to keep you safe and protected from those high DC voltages. Those high DC voltages though are useful because they minimize current loss by it coming in at a lower current. They enable string wiring that keeps things simple and they make sure that your F3800 Plus can be compatible with larger panels like this that often operate at higher voltages so you have more options and flexibility in your solar panel wiring. Now we'll take this plug and connect it to one of the solar input ports on the F3800 Plus. So these panels are connected to form one array that's going into one of our two inputs. We could do this all over again with four more panels, giving us a total of 3200 watts coming into the F3800 Plus. Now that we're connected though, let's take a look and see what kind of power we're getting coming in. Not only does the higher voltage limit on the incoming power on the F3800 Plus mean that you can have more power coming into your F3800 Plus, it means that it simplifies the wiring. Only does see here, we only used two wires to connect this four panel array to our F3800 Plus. So if this was inside my house or if you had a system inside your own home, that's only two wires that you have to bring in from outdoors into your house. That simplifies wiring and it's less penetrations through the roof into your home, making things a lot cleaner and easier for the average DIYer. I also want to mention that when you're considering locations for your array, it's ideal to have them facing south if you can and have them at a tilt, which will depend on your latitude 
to optimize their performance. These rigid solar panels are the ultimate pick if you are looking for a place to permanently mount your solar array and maximize your daily input of solar power. They offer the longest lasting, most durable solution if you're looking for a way to recharge your F3800 or F3800 Plus off the grid. Now let's take a look at how we can connect up to four 400 watt portable panels from Anchor Solix to the F3800 Plus. Keep in mind, the old model could only handle three, and thanks to the higher input voltage, we can now wire these in a combination of series and parallel connections to save on the amount of cable we need and make deployment of these arrays even faster. Once you have your panels set up, it's time to wire them together. Now with the rigid panels, because they operate at a low enough voltage, we can connect them all in series, adding their voltage with each panel and still stay below the 165 volt limit using four of those panels. These operate at a higher voltage, however, and we can't just wire all four together in series. So instead, we will do a combination of series and then parallel wiring so that we don't go over the 165 volt DC limit of the solar charge controller built into the F3800 Plus. Let me show you how we do that. Our first step is to connect the output of one of our panels to a set of MC cables. Using those cables that we just connected, we will then tie into our second solar panel, wiring it in series, taking the positive coming from this panel and wiring it to the negative of the one next to it. What this does is daisy chains these two panels together in series, turning it essentially into one large solar panel with a main positive and a main negative ready to be connected in parallel with the other two panels in front of it. In order to connect them in parallel, we will use branch connectors like these ones. As you can see, this takes two of your positive cables and combines them together, and this takes two of the negative cables and combines them together. You can see that is now connected to one half of our branch connector, and then the other half will connect here. And you can see now, we have two spots available on our branch connector. We'll use that to connect the other two panels up front in the exact same fashion. Once those are connected together, we'll then take the output of our branch connector and connect it to another set of cables going to the input on our F3800 Plus to bring the power into the machine. Just like that. Now we have our main positive and negative solar panel cables coming off of our array. Again, remember how we got here. We took the back two panels, wired them in series, and then combined them in parallel with the front two panels, which were also wired in series. That gives us our main positive and negative connections to bring into the F3800 Plus using adapter. Now, before we go ahead and hook this up, it's important to do a little mental checklist and make sure that we are coming in below the 165 volt maximum. And of course, we are. With that established, let's go ahead and connect our adapter and then plug that into the input on our F3800 Plus. Once our panels are connected, the F3800 Plus will start charging automatically, optimizing its performance to make sure it harvests every watt that it can from the sun. And just like with the rigid panels, the same best practices apply. Of course, you want to make sure that your input voltage never exceeds 165 volts. You want to make sure your panels are clean and that they're pointed at the sun. Now, ideally, you'll have them in direct sunlight, but of course, that's not always possible like today. But whenever possible, you want to avoid any shading to maximize your performance. Well, hopefully that explains how to take advantage of the enhanced solar input port on the F3800 Plus to take advantage of not only simplified wiring, whether you're connecting rigid solar panels or flexible ones like this, but also taking advantage of the ability to handle even more panels than before. If you like tips and tricks about Anchor products and want to stay up to date with the latest news, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel so that we can keep you living in power. Anchor Solix, live in power.